Have you ever had a situation with your toddler where you're like, all right, it's time to leave the house now, please put on your shoes, and they have an absolute meltdown? Transitions can be a real struggle for young children, and that is because they get so absorbed in what they're doing. It is one of their magical superpowers. Kids live in the moment. Changes to the activity that they're currently absorbed in can cause them to get upset, and they might show this distress by protesting, shouting, crying, or just getting very agitated. For the last few years, I've been using mindfulness techniques that I learned in my profession as a coach with the children to great effect. So let me share two different strategies that you can use with your kids to help smooth transitions between activities. Strategy one, countdown method. Let's put ourselves in their shoes for a minute. Imagine you're at work and you are totally in the flow. You are working on something super exciting. You're in the zone doing really productive work and a great job. Now imagine a colleague comes up to you and just says, drop everything. I have to talk to you right now. Come and sit here with me. We have to do this. It wouldn't feel great, right? It would feel much better if that colleague were to say, I know you're busy, but could I come back in five minutes and have a chat with you? It's really urgent. It's really important. And it's the same for kids. We can use a similar kind of approach with them. In this method, we're simply giving them a heads up on how much time we're going to do something. It might sound something like this. In two minutes, we're shutting down the iPad and it's time to go to school. Okay, in one minute, we're turning off the iPad and we're going to school. In five minutes, we're finishing up in the park and we're going to go home. Okay guys, in one minute we're going to be leaving the park and going home. This gives your child a heads up and they can start to process the idea that they're going to be moving on to the next activity. It subconsciously gets their buy-in for a change in the activity. And if they do protest after that, at least they've had a heads up and it can help reduce the emotional impact and hopefully smooth the transition. Strategy two, saying goodbye to everything. This is something I've done with the kids since birth. And what this might look like is, all right, now it's time to say goodbye to reading stories. After this snack, it's time to say bye-bye snack, bye-bye TV, bye-bye iPad, bye-bye car, bye-bye park, bye-bye school, bye-bye friends, bye-bye home, bye-bye toys. Consistency is absolutely key. Done over and over and over again for many, many months. And eventually what I found, my kids were just themselves saying, Bye bye snacks, bye bye TV. This gives the child a chance to get closure on their current activity before moving on to the next one. Both these strategies also teach your children lifelong skills and will make your daily life a lot easier. Now that you've learned these two strategies for managing transitions, you might also be interested in this little nutshell. Thanks for watching, have a great day.